everyone, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black, and I'm so excited to be giving you a closer look at our new fall-themed collection called Autumn Bliss. Now before we begin, I just wanted to mention I do have two other videos for you showing our new Christmas collection and our new Christmas dies, so I will link those for you down in the YouTube description box below. So if this is the first one that you're catching, be sure to also check those as well. And all of these new stamps are available in our online store. We are having some problems with the search function, so to, in order to see all of those, if you just click on the New button over on the left-hand sidebar, that should take you to see all of the new stamps and the stamps and the dies. And let's go ahead and get started by taking a closer look at these Autumn Bliss stamps. And so the first one here is 30-595 Tiny Acorn. This is a miniature 3 by 4 inch transparent set. Just the most adorable little image. And also, this is 30-603 Forest Delight. And I wanted to give you a look at both of these because I've combined them on my card. I love these whimsical trees and mushrooms. You can use them in so many different ways, backgrounds, or as the focal point images in your cards. So here's a look at the card I made with both of those sets. You can see the tree there in the background and that adorable little guy in the front. Now this next set is 30-597 Sweet Witch. Again, this is a 3 by 4 inch transparent set. So whimsically drawn and I love the font on that sentiment too. Here is the card that I have created with her. Just colored her with alcohol base markers and fussy cut her out and added her with an inked and die cut background. This is another miniature 3 by 4 inch transparent set, uh, 30-598 Pumpkin Party. Another really joyful and fun image to color, and I love that this can be used for fall cards, not just sort of Halloween specific cards. Um, and here I've done this on a tall legal size card um, that would fit in the size of an envelope like that your bills come in, <laughs> that would fit inside. This next is 30-593 Bewitching another one that is such a joy to color. I love her little face and happiness and that big pumpkin that she's holding. Again, I've done her on a tall card, um, giving me lots of room to add some die cut embellishments up in the sky and add her on her way there trick-or-treating. This next set, this is 30-596 Spooktacular. There's a lot of very whimsical, fun little Halloween creatures on here, as well as a great tree and a fun web. And again, that really awesome font for the Happy Halloween sentiment. And the card that I've made, I've made a round card for this and used the cat image from this set and added a few die cut pumpkins. Now if you're wondering about any of the other dies or stamps that are used on all of these cards, if you follow our blog over the next couple of weeks we will show each of these cards with all of the products listed and linked to our online store. Now this next set is Ghostly Greetings, product number 30-594. I cannot get over how cute these little ghosts are and that bat hanging down. I had to use this little kitty cat ghost on my card and this was just a really fun and easy card to put together and just so fun and happy. Next we have this Hedgy set 30-592. It's called Critter Costumes. You can see all of the cute, adorable, little delightful images that you get in this one set. You can create so many different cards with them. I love to go sort of miniature with these and highlight just the tiny little images. So for my first card here, I've got this adorable little hedgy witch off trick-or-treating with this broom. And on the next card, I've made a tag. And Halloween tags, I think, are really fun, especially at this time when you're giving away a lot of candy or treats. It's fun to have a little handmade tag. And here I've just colored and fussy cut out that little trick-or-treating squirrel. Now this next set is probably my favorite of the batch. It's 30-600 Autumn Bliss. This does come with an exact match die set, and I apologize, I do not have that die set with me to show you in the video, but that is available to cut out the pumpkins and three of the different leaves, and you'll see that here on the next cards. So for my first card, I didn't do any die cutting. I actually did some masking and just some painting in of these 
beautifully embellished pumpkins. I love that all of that's already on there for you and you just get the joy of painting. And here is where I have used the exact match die set to cut out the pumpkins and those are the leaves that you can cut out with the exact match dies. Now this set is 30-599 acorns and animals again super adorable set for fall but I also think you could use some of these critters for everyday greetings as well you get some fun acorn embellishments included make really fun backgrounds with these so for my first card with this set I had to create a little scene I've also used some of the uh, mushrooms from the forest delight set here on the scene and then for the next card I did some masking and some no line watercoloring with that adorable fox and those acorns just to create a very simple card and then I have one more card with this where I've combined the pumpkin um, from the autumn bliss set with these um, critters from the acorns and animals with the little owl there standing up on the pumpkin this next is a miniature transparent set 30-601 Golden Delight and this also does have the exact match die available. I apologize I did not have it at the time that I was filming this video um, but you'll see on the card that I've made with it how that cuts that out. It beautifully cuts out of that wreath image and on my card I just layered it on top of some die cut wreaths in the background just for some extra color and dimension to the card. Finally, we have this set 30-602 All Natural. I love that with this set you can use it for autumn or you can use it for Christmas. So these really elegant, natural looking branches and berries and acorns and pine cones. Um, like I said, you can use them for both seasons and I'll show you that here. Here's a card where I've stamped them around the perimeter and painted them in and done a more autumn theme card. And then on this next card, I've gone with more of a Christmas holiday theme, um, stamping those. And I just love the curve and the look of all those branches and leaves once they're stamped. I hope you enjoyed today's video taking a look at our Autumn Bliss collection. Be sure to continue to connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as our website and blog. And I will link all of those for you down in the YouTube description box below.